Hunter. Who's that, Jasper? Hi. How you going? All right, guys, we'll get started in just a second. So thanks for joining me again today. Some of you probably for your second time. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the bounce session this morning. Uh, so today's session, uh, today, or sorry, I should say this afternoon, Monday afternoon session is, uh, is, is more around mobility. Um, no worries, I can see there's some injuries and stuff coming through, that's okay. So today's session is more about mobility. Uh, it's not gonna be, uh, it's not gonna be heart rate elevated too much. It's not going to be ball handling, shooting, dunking like this morning was. Uh, it's, it's going to be a little bit more about that, that g'day Hunter. It's gonna be a little bit more about that strength in length, okay? Which is a term I like to sort of use. I've borrowed from another coach. Strength in length, mobility. We're going to be on the ground quite a bit. So quite a bit of the mobility will be down on the floor or carpet. So all you need for today's session is uh, a drink bottle because uh, hydration will be really important for these recovery sort of sessions, these flex sessions. We might add another one of these in throughout the week. Um, I don't know, Monday afternoon might not be the best time. Maybe it, it might move to a Wednesday. We might keep the Monday, depending on what your workload's like. Um, and you can always come back to this session because it'll be recorded and the session and the session plan and the mobility plan will be uploaded later on. <clears throat> so as I mentioned, you'll need a drink bottle because hydration is important. We'll take a lot of drinks breaks. You will need a yoga mat, especially if you guys, it looks like there's a few of you outside, which is terrific because it's a beautiful day. Uh, but make sure you've got somewhere fairly, uh, you know, fairly forgiving on the, on the joints. And, and if you're going to be, we're going to be down on the ground quite a bit. It's not a yoga session, um, so it shouldn't be too difficult in terms of keeping up with the, the exercises or the movements today. Um, and I'll, I'll go through a little bit of an introduction, but I, I don't envisage this session going for much more than half an hour, okay? It's, it's more just, we'll do a little bit on foam rolling, um, and then we will spend a bit of time just on these mobility exercises. So to start with, we're gonna grab a foam roller. So grab a foam roller. If you've got one, I can see a couple of people outdoors. Some have got basketballs. Some are ready to run and jump. There's not too much running and jumping. There's not too much physical activity. I apologize, guys, but hopefully you'll still really get something out of this session. I've got my, if you're wondering why I'm looking off to the side here, because I've got my laptop set up. It's a bigger screen and I can see you guys. So we need a foam roller, yoga mat and drink bottle. That's all we need to get through today's session. It's just mobility. But it's a beautiful day. So you guys that are outside, keep your basketballs nearby because you can shoot around for hours after we're finished. I strongly encourage it. All right, we're going to start with some foam rolling. So for those that are, I don't think there'll be too many that will be new to foam rolling, but there might be a few. We do have a tutorial video up on our website that our strength and conditioning coordinator did. But we will just go through some basics today as well. And, and at the start of these flex sessions, these mobility. Oh. Who was that? Sorry. Getting my roller. You don't have a roller? No, I'm going to get it. Okay, no worries. <laughs> all right, so we're going to start foam rolling our glutes. All right, so I've got my foam roller here. I'm literally just going to sit right on top of the roller. Okay, some people like when they're foam rolling, I do one glute at a time. Some people like to bring... So if I'm on my right glute, okay, for those that don't know the technical term of glute is, is your bum, okay, I, I might bring my right leg up and sit it on my left knee, behind my left knee. So a little bit like our pretzel stretch we sometimes do. Um, that can help a little bit, get into uh, that glute muscle a little bit deeper. Okay, so I'm just going back and forth. We're just going to go back and forth three or four times on each muscle. I'm on my right glute here. And I'm going to change sides across to my left. If you've got your basketball and you'd prefer to use a basketball, you're more than welcome to. You can actually use a basketball as a bit of a foam roller or as a bit of a, a you know, a self-massager. Okay, it's probably not as easy and you'd need to have pretty good balance. So I'm on my left glute now. I'm putting the majority of my weight on here. But if you're new to this, you haven't done a lot of self-massage or, or foam rolling, be really, be really gentle with yourself to begin with. That's really important. You don't want to hate foam rolling. You want to, you want to get pretty used to it because it's a, it's a big part of our physical preparation. 
um, at Blues, but just in general as well, in how we in how we like to to warm up for games and trainings. Um, it's a really really good habit to get in, in get used to. So that's it with our glutes. We're going to go now onto uh, a, a a band of tendon that runs down from basically from our knee all the way up to our hip. Okay, it's called your ITB. Again, this one can be pretty challenging. So breathing is important. This can be one of the more painful ones. Hopefully you've got a foam roller that's a little bit forgiving. And again, you can do this to different levels like with all of our exercises. So you can have both your knees and feet stacked. So pretty much all of your weight is, is on top of that roller. And we're going all the way from our knee up to our hips and rolling back and forth, okay? If that's a little bit too challenging for you, so you're in like a side plank position here. If that's a little bit too challenging, you're feeling a little bit too much pressure on your legs, you can, I'm on my right side here, you can bring that left leg over and take a little bit of that pressure off, off your leg. All right, so we, we included this flex mobility session in, in our schedule because it's a big, big part of it should be a big part of any athlete's weekly routine, particularly because we did a session this morning. It's really important that if you're still going to be active later in the day, that you make some time to help your body recover. So again, we're back and forth three or four times on that, on that ITB, that band of tendon that runs from our hip to our knee and then swap sides. Is that a question there? Uh, do you swap sides after doing your few on one side? That's right. Yes, you do. Okay. Swap sides. No worries. So come across the other side. So I'm on my left side now again. If we're feeling the, you know, that's a bit too much pressure, bring that right leg across and, and just take some of that weight off of that left leg. And you want to roll when you're doing this exercise. You want to roll. Sorry, my mats getting caught up you want to roll all the way from basically the top of your knee not not on your knee joint you don't want to come all the way down to your knee joint but just above all the way up basically to the side of your glute or to the side of your hip until you hit you don't want to hit, hit your hip bone but you want to you want to cover a fair bit of distance here all right Okay, we're going to roll it over now. We're going to do our carbs. So again, you can mix it up here how you like to do this. I like to go carbs next and then work my way up to my hamstrings. So if we go carbs, you can load this as much as you like. So you can go, again, if, if, if you're feeling a little bit tight today or at any stage throughout this program, you can go with one leg at a time. Okay, and you can have, so I've got my right leg on the roller and I'm working from, from basically the top of my Achilles here at my ankle, top of my ankle, all the way up to just below my knee. I can have my right foot on the roller and my left foot down, absorbing some of that weight. So it's not as intense of a movement. Or if I wanna add some intensity to it and make a, a little bit more weight on that muscle, I can stack my legs on top of each other. I'm a glutton for punishment, so I like to do that one. Like I mentioned this morning, with all these movements, breathing is really, really important. These flex sessions that we run, if we run a Monday Arvo and if we add another one in later in the week for some recovery, they're going to be a lower intensity session. There's going to be more opportunity. So if you've got questions for this live, for this live format of, of the sessions, feel free to type them in. Okay, or, or if you feel more comfortable putting your microphone on, you can type the message directly to me. Okay, and if I see it in time and I can re respond, I'll try and respond. If not, I'll make a point of responding after, after the session. It's a really good opportunity to touch on recovery techniques. If you've got questions about foam rolling, make sure you're swapping legs. So we're going to work through our calves, hamstrings, quads, and then we'll get into our mobility exercises. <clears throat> so three or four times each leg. Let's move the roller up now to our hamstrings. Same again, you can either roll up and down, keeping one leg down, keeping one foot flat on the ground to take some weight off, or you can, you can much like our glute stretch, you can stack that 
I've got my right leg on the roller and I'm stacking my left ankle on top of my right knee. And I'm working back and forth on that hamstring. So it's almost like you imagine the roller as a rolling pin. And you just, if you've ever done any baking with mum or dad, you just work in that muscle. Trying to spread it out, provide some length before we then do some active stretches and, and mobility movements. So swap legs if you haven't already. The hamstrings are a funny muscle or a group of muscles, I should say. Um, someone once described them to me as imagine, a, imagine if you grabbed a handful of pencils and then wrapped lacquer bands around it. And those pencils, they're like our muscle fibers running up and down. That's what the hamstrings are like. And when you, when you massage your hamstrings, rolling back and forth like this is really beneficial, but so is some side to side movement. We're actually rolling across at different points on the roller. And they used a, an example that doing that was like getting that handful of pencils and scrunching them around on top of each other. Because what we're trying to do here is we're trying to stretch out the muscles, but also the tendons that cover the muscles to allow for those muscles to move more freely. But another thing we're trying to do is just increase blood flow. We're just trying to get some friction and no better way to create friction with these big muscle groups than to change the direction of which way you're rolling. All right, we might leave it there. You guys know how to do your quads. If you feel like you need to do your quads, please do, but we're 10 minutes in. So I'm conscious of moving on to our actual mobility exercises. Again, uh, what's the best place to roll? Um, is that Molly? What do you mean, Molly? Do you mean which body part or do you mean in terms of location in your house? Because I like doing it on carpet, but if you're talking about body part, I think the best place to roll in terms of body part is my calves or my ITBs. That's just me. Feel free to unmute yourself if you like and ask that question or I'll respond later on. All righty. I'm just going to mute a couple of people here. There we go. Yeah, my oh. legs hurt. Body, part. body part. Okay. Yeah. So I, I, my favorite body part to foam roll is, is probably my calves because they, they take a fair beating in basketball um, or, or probably ITB. So the one we did second, glutes. Glutes is a, is a close third, but down that side from, from hip to knee is, is a real problem area. Um, calves is another really good one as well. All right, time to get into our mo mobility. So we should have our mat. We're gonna start lying flat on our mat and we're gonna do an exercise called a hamstring floss. I'm just gonna, excuse me while I grab my laptop here so I can see you guys a little bit closer as I'm down on the mat. So you'll need a little bit of space because some of our exercises, we will be sort of kicking our legs over our body, things like that. Our hamstring floss, we're just gonna do 10 on each leg, focusing on the breathing, okay, through each movement. If you experience any pain through any of these mobility exercises, stop, okay? Don't, don't push through pain. Discomfort is very different to pain. And I, how everyone identifies that's gonna be very different, okay? Discomfort might just be that delayed onset muscle soreness we all get after a big week of training, uh, things like that, that we can, we can stretch through some of that, but don't stretch through pain. Okay. Pain is, you know, a pain, a painful type of a movement is when you can feel like you're pushing your muscle beyond its, its range of motion too far. Okay. So ease back on that for our hamstring floss. We're going to lie flat on our back. I want you to bring your right knee up and you're going to wrap your hands underneath on your hamstring, both hands here. Okay, we're trying to keep our left leg here flat to the ground. So we're keeping our heel down. And I just want you to gently pull back on that right leg. Okay, so it gets about, probably about a bit past 90 degrees and you're, back, you're flat on your back and you're just gonna kick that leg straight up in the air. So if you are gently pulling back behind, not, not quite behind your knee, 
but just a little bit lower. So the sort of the base of your hamstring before it gets to your knee. And that is our floss movement there. So we go from a bent knee and we try and straighten our knee. You should feel that stretch down the back of your hamstring. This is a really, really good active hamstring stretch. So a lot of you will have tried the, you know, just touch your toes or, or put one foot forward and bend the other leg and, and touch, touch one leg at a time, hamstring stretch. But this is a little bit more active, okay? So we're gonna swap legs here. So 10 on each leg. So grabbing just behind top of my hammy here on my left leg now, pulling that gently in, but not pushing too hard, okay? So we're not trying to bring our knee to our chest. We're just going a little bit past 90 degrees and we're kicking now that left foot up to the roof. We should feel that stretch. And again, you can control how far you go with this stretch. So you don't have to straighten your leg out entirely to, to make this a fairly effective mobility movement. 10 on each leg. Now, next exercise is a lower back exercise. It's called a supine kickover. So again, you'll need a little space. I'm actually gonna do this one facing the camera. So our supine kickover, how'd everyone go with the hamstring floss? Give me a thumbs up if you felt that one in your hammies. Yep, good, excellent, all right. Supine kickover. So with the kickover exercise, we're just gonna be, again, flat on our back. We're here, we're gonna go, we're gonna go right leg, we're gonna start right leg up. I want you to keep your palms flat on the mat or on the carpet, wherever you are. Try and keep your palms down and try and keep your shoulders down, okay? And we're just kicking. So we're gonna to touch that foot to the left side here. So over to our left, and we're gonna bring it across and touch it to our right. So we're swinging. So our hips can move, but I don't want your shoulders to come off the carpet. Try and keep your palms down as well. So we're swinging that leg, keeping it reasonably straight, swinging that leg from side to side. So we touch it out to our right as far as we can reach, swing it across, touch it to the left as far as we can reach. So you should feel this gentle stretch in your lower back, particularly as we come across to the left with our right leg. And as you come across to the right, it's a little bit of a hip opening exercise. So we're doing that one 10 times on either leg before we swap over. So don't always just follow along with me on the screen as well, keep count. Once you've got an idea of the exercise, Try not to kick your brother or sister. Try and time it if you're doing it. <laughs> Sienna and Beth, you've got limited space there, so you've got to time it. Good job, HG kids. Good, good timing. Well done, guys. Well done, Sierra. Perfect. Good job, Chase. That's it. Good. So I'm going to swap to my left leg, come across and touch over to my right as high up as I can get and then open that hip out the other direction. Kick across, open that hip up. Again, with all these exercises, guys, control your breathing. So I would be breathing in as my left leg comes across to the left, breathing out as my left leg comes across to the right, because that's where we're really trying to stretch that lower back out a little bit. Breathing in and breathing out as we come across to stretch out that lower back. Once you've done 10 on either side, give me a thumbs up. We'll move into our next exercise. Good. Awesome. All right. So next one, this is a bit of fun. We start to get moving a little bit more now. We're still on the ground though. We're gonna go, I'm gonna bring my mat forward a little bit. So what we're doing here, oh, of course, Molly. Sorry, I just saw that. <laughs> so. <laughs> We're gonna go, so this is this is called like a PNF, a V sit. So we're sitting with our legs, not, not as wide as we can possibly go, but you, you can go reasonably wide with your feet. So I'll face the camera here. So what that looks like is like this. Now you can do this. I can see a lot of brother sisters there. You can do this facing each other, okay? If you've got enough space, because we are gonna roll back behind us. So you can do this so that when you come up, to the top here, you can actually help each other stretch and come forward. Okay, so that's how the movement will start is we're gonna come forward with our hands between our legs. And again, it's a little bit of that hamstring, deep hamstring stretch up towards our glute. And then the movement is we go from stretching, if you've got room here, 
You get, we go from stretching forward and we're going to roll back and touch our feet behind us. We come forward, touch, and we go back. Now, if you've got someone that you can roll towards, you can grab each other's hands here and pull each other forward for a little bit of a, a more intense hamstring stretch. Otherwise, when we roll back here, you're trying to touch your feet behind you, okay? And it's a stretch for our lower back, okay? It's a stretch for our lower back. We roll back and we're working our spine through a full range of motion there as well. But again, be careful because some of you will be more flexible than others. So don't overdo it. You might roll to here and that might be fine, okay? You might just grab behind your hamstrings here and just roll gently to there and then come forward and touch, okay? We're only doing five of these. So I think you've probably, <laughs> you've probably done enough of those already. All right, so that's our P and F V sit. Now we're going into a 90-90 hip opener. I can see most of you have done that one. A couple more just finishing off. 90-90 hip opener. Oh, we've got all the allures there. Well done, guys. <laughs> awesome. I should have done my uh, session outside. It's a beautiful day. So 90-90 hip opener. This will be one of the toughest ones to explain through Zoom. But essentially what we're going to do is I want you to bring your right leg out to the side. So you're going to make like a 90-degree angle. Awesome, Maddie. Well done. So you're going to bring your knee out to the side here and we're going to rest that right knee down. Okay. And, and, and we're sort of, we're on the outside of our right leg. So you're going to put your right hand behind you here and then you're going to bring your left leg in and make a 90 degree angle there. Okay. So we're, we're straight line here. <laughs> Good. I did it by myself as well. So we're straight line with our, with this leg and then out to the side. So 90 degrees. And then we make a 90 degree angle with our leg on this side. We've got our right hand behind us, just helping keeping, keep us sort of upright here. And all we're, all we're going to do here is we're just going to rotate, trying to keep our heels and our feet, some part of our foot touching the ground. We're going to lift and rotate our knees across like that to 90 degrees, 90 degrees on the other side. So let everyone see that movement. So we rotate over and across. Okay, so that you should feel that stretch as you lift here. I feel that stretch in my left hip. And as I come across here, I'm feeling that stretch in my right hip. So what we're actually doing here is we're rotating our upper leg. We're rot rotating the bone, that femur there in our hip socket. So we're working that hip through a full range of motion here. Some of you will have done this stretch before like so, where you just put your feet on the ground and you go windscreen wipers. If it's easier for you to do that, feel free to do that exercise. That windscreen wiper exercise is very, very similar. So feel free to just go ahead and do that. Otherwise, we're into our 90-90 hip opener. So we're here and one full rotation. So we've got our hands back behind us. One full rotation is side to side, okay? We're doing that one. We're gonna do seven times, seven, seven full rotations through if you haven't already done that one. So side I've to side. I've already done that one. That's good. If you've already done it, you can just wait for the next exercise. Otherwise, we're windscreen wipering here. If, you, if, if it's not too comfortable where you are to do the 90-90 with the windscreen wipers, again, you just want to have your feet flat on the ground, arms behind you. So what it looks like from the side is here. Good job, guys. I can see a few of you are getting it done. And we're just trying to rotate to work that, those hips through a full range of motion, particularly that top leg. We wanna try and get that top leg down to almost touching the ground. If we're doing windscreens, if we're 90-90, it's, a, it's a probably a slower, sort of a more controlled movement, but don't work through pain. If that hurts at all, doing that movement, don't do it that way. Good job, guys. All right, let's move on. All right, so we've got a hip flexor one today. You will have done this exercise before, hip flexor tilt. Okay, so we're gonna start, I'm gonna start with my right knee on the ground. I can bring my left foot up. So we're into that lunge position here. Okay, so most of you will have seen this hip flexor movement before. So we need to get to this position to start with our right knee down. So we're in that position, we're gonna go. But once we get to this position, there's a little added detail. So now I'm just facing you guys. I want you to squeeze that right glute 
Okay, so you're bringing, you should start to feel that hip flexor stretch. Again, we don't want to push bone into bone, but we just want to open up that front of our hip here. We're going to go arms up overhead and we're going to tilt. So if you've got your right knee down, you're going to tilt to your left. So you're going to kick that right hip out to the side a little bit. So it's called a, a, like a hip flexor tilt. So we stay into this active glute position. So you can see here, I'll go to the side. I've got my right knee down. I'm not just, what I don't want to see from you guys, and I'll keep an eye on you here, is I don't want to see you just pushing that hip forward here. Okay, but you're losing all integrity through your core. I want you to stay upright. So I'd prefer you to stay upright, switch on your abdominals. Okay, so take a big deep breath in, squeeze your glute. And even there for me, now you guys will have much better hips than me, but even there for me, well, with that active glute and my core engaged, I can feel that hip flexor stretch. Then we're going arms up overhead and four tilts to our left. So two, three, and four. Then we're going to swap legs. So we're going to, I'm going to bring my left knee down now. Left knee down, right foot forward. And again, I'm squeezing that left glute, but I'm not just sitting into that lunge and just pushing my hip into a position it doesn't really want to go into. So I'm squeezing that left glute, keeping my core active, arms up overhead. You can interlace your fingers if you want, if that helps you. And now I'm just tilting and kicking that left hip out to the side. So we're getting that stretch in the front of our hip, but we're also getting the stretch right down our obliques. So if anyone's done, even this morning session, we did some planks and stuff like that. It's really important to not only strengthen those obliques with side planks, but also lengthen them. Make sure we're stretching out, especially as you guys are all growing so quickly. Well done, guys. Um, Jared, oh. how many times do we do it? Oh, uh, four, sorry. Four, both directions. Yep. So if you've got your left knee down, you're going to your right four times, kicking the left hip out. And then if you've got your right knee down, you're going to your left four times. Good job. Next exercise. Anyone still going? We'll catch up. So now we've got another one. It's called a, a, an adductor pulse. So a kneeling adductor pulse. So this movement, we're going to have, I'm going to start with my left knee down. And our foot, our foot is just flat on the ground behind us. And I'm going to have my right leg out. I'm going to have probably try and get the whole inside of my right foot flat on the mat, but you might just have your heel down. It's totally up to you. So I'm going to have my left knee and probably the inside of my right foot. Okay. From this position here, we're bringing our hands to the, to the floor. We're going to walk our hands forward into like almost like a push up, And then we're going to walk our hands back as if we're trying to sit back on that left heel. All the while, we're keeping that right heel down. Okay, so I've got my right leg out straight here and I've got my left knee down. So I'm walking my hands forward into a, almost like a semi push up, and then I'm pushing back and sitting my heel, sitting back, trying to sit my left bum cheek on my left heel. All right, we're gonna do that. We're going to do that six times on each side. So when you come forward and push back, that's one. Forward and back, there's two. Okay, six on each leg. So six on you with your right leg straight, six with your left leg straight. Again, this can be fairly challenging, okay, because you'll feel that right on the inside of your thigh here. It's a muscle we often neglect. Okay, and it's, it's pretty difficult at times to work it through a full range of motion. And then all of a sudden, you'll do a session or you'll do a heavy training and you'll wake up the next day and that, that adductor muscle on the inside of our thigh here will be really sore because we don't, we don't lengthen it too often. Great job, Maddie. As with all these sessions, guys, these will be recorded and you can do them later in your own time. The session plans will be uploaded. Good job, guys. Yep, Riley, Hi, that's good. Daddy, do I just press Zoom and log in 
And then what's the video? Uh, it's just on the Stay Ready website. So you've just got to click, get your parent to show you where to click that link and you go to the Stay Ready website. All the recordings are down below the live schedule. What was it, the Stay Ready website? Stay Ready, yeah. It's, it's, you would have found, you would have got the link to find this session. To get find this session. Okay. <laughs> Good job, Sierra. Okay, moving on guys. So the next exercise we're doing is a loaded ankle mobility. So we're gonna push, we're gonna push on here a little bit. We're gonna do three on each leg rather than five. So we're gonna come into this lunge position again for the loaded ankle mobility. All, all you need to do is push forward to almost to the point where your heel comes off the ground. So from this lunge position, keep your foot flat on the ground putting some pressure on your knee here. So pushing some pressure just above your shin. We're gonna come all the way to the point where your heel's about to come off the ground and then you're gonna step up, okay? So it's a loaded mobility. So again, most of our exercises that we do are not just about stretching. They're about actually having length, uh, sorry, strength through a full range of motion. So three on each leg. So I'm on my left foot here, just as that heel's about to come off. I step up and I drive that opposite knee. So three on each leg. I'm gonna swap legs, good job. Emily, well done. Colton, good stuff, mate. So push forward. You should feel that stretch in your lower calf, maybe in your Achilles, keeping that heel down. It'll test your balance a little bit. I can see some people falling side to side and then push up into that almost like a, almost like a layup type movement, just to test that balance, to test that range of motion in our calves and our Achilles. Good job, Alessandra. Well done, guys. So three on each leg will be plenty. All right, next one here. So you can use something as a guide if you like. We're gonna sit, essentially we're gonna sit here cross-legged. We're going to bring, almost like we're stretching our groins. So we're going to bring our feet together. Now, I said we were going to drink plenty of water. So make sure you guys grab a drink bottle and have a quick drink in between each of these exercises. So if you're waiting for me at any stage or a few other people are still finishing, make sure you grab a drink. And now my drink bottle is going to help me out. So if I sit with my legs straight here, I wanna put my drink bottle probably at about my right knee. Okay, so maybe just outside my right knee, you guys can mix it up. You can use anything really. You can put your basketball there as long as it doesn't roll away. It's just as a bit of a guide. You don't have to have it either. Okay, so I'm bringing my feet together like a groin stretch. All right, now you can put your arms out behind you for balance if you need to. Or if you've got enough balance, you can sit up straight like this. I need to put my hands behind me. And all we're gonna do from here is we're gonna do five on each leg. I'm gonna lift my right leg up and over my drink bottle and outside. Bring it back in, touch them together again, like the groin stretch. So up and over your drink bottle. Again, working that hip through a full range of motion, bringing it back into touch. So five on each leg, that's good read. Awesome. Try and keep that leg as straight as you can. Bring it all the way up and over. Good job, Matty Shacklock. Well done. Bring that leg up and over. Good, good. Once you've done five, swap sides. Let's bring that drink bottle across and go left leg now. So bring that left foot over, back in. Left foot out, up and over, nice and straight and back in. If you think you can sit up and do it without your hands on the ground, please do. I nearly fall backwards every time I do that. Oh, but it adds another, uh, another element of trying to keep your core activated as well. So bring that leg out, straighten, and bring it back over and bring it in. Five on either leg. Well done, guys. Excellent. All right, next one, very similar. Okay, but you probably, the drink bottle will probably be too high. All right, very similar, but the, the, the drink bottle, so I'm lying my drink bottle down here and just using it as a guide. Good job, everyone. What we're gonna do here is now we're lying on our stomach. 
Okay, I'm going to put my drink bottle down. So I'm going to use my hands as a guide. So if I put my hands down here flat, okay, about where my hand is, is about where I want my drink bottle. All right, then I'm going to bring, I'm going to put my hands together up here and I'm going to rest my head on my hands at the top here. And what we're doing now is we're trying to bring our leg without tilting too much through our hips. So we're working through a different range of motion here. We're activating our glutes. We're going to kick our leg up straight. So I'm going to start on my left leg. I'm going to start with my left leg. We're going to kick, kick our leg up straight behind us, squeeze that glute and try and lift it out and over that drink bottle. Okay, so see, I couldn't quite get it. So I probably need to move that down and a little bit closer just so my fingertips are just hitting it. We're going to do three on either leg. So kick, so left leg, squeeze that glute and try and open that hip and get it out and pass that drink bottle. Bring it up again and bring it around. Okay, so try and do that whilst keeping, try and keep your left hip as much as possible down. Try not to, to lift that left hip up too much. So it's all about that initial glute squeeze. So it's all about as high as you can get with that leg and then bring it out and around. Three on each leg, good job. Okay, we're gonna swap sides. I can see you guys giving that a crack. It's pretty challenging. But that's the point of this session. There's a bit of, there's, there's a fair few challenges in this this mobility session. If you can't do it with a drink bottle, just, just chuck your drink bottle away. That's okay. Put your head in your hands here. I'm on my right leg now, so I can see you guys working. Kick that right leg up, bring it out, and try and bring that leg up as high as you can. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Okay, kick that right leg up, bring it over, and bring it down. Well done. Three on each leg. And then we're going to jump up for our last two exercises before we finish off. And you guys, especially you guys that are outside, can get some shots up. All right. So standing up now, our last two exercises will begin from a standing position. You won't need your mats. So you can roll those off to the side or get them out of the way if you like. Again, you'll notice there's a lot of hip mobility in these sessions, but for good reason, hip mobility is extremely important. So this is just called a standing, a standing car or standing CAR, which is just an articular rotation. Okay, so all we're doing here, I'm gonna start with my left foot on the ground. Okay, left foot down, driving my right knee up. And it's just like that open the gate movement. Open the gate, close the gate, okay? So I'm going up and around, driving knee up and out, and then up and around, that's two. Okay, so we rotate back and rotate up and forward. That's one full movement. So you're gonna do five on each leg. Up and around, up and around. Swap to your left leg, so right foot stays down. Kick that left knee up, bring it out to the side, kick it around and back. Try and keep your pelvis fairly still during this movement. So I'm kicking my left leg back, out and around, up, out and around. Good job. All right, five on each leg. And then we'll go into our last exercise. Oh, lost my balance. We'll go into our last exercise, which is a squat, like a deep squat prog progression. We're only going to do three of these. Everyone's finished. <laughs> Good stuff. We're nearly done, guys. You guys can get into some actual shooting and, and stuff. But this mobility stuff, trust me, it's going gonna, it's gonna to help you. If not right away, it's going to help you for years to come. So first, with our squat, prog squat progression, we're going to do three of these. We're going to go hands up nice and high overhead. Okay, I know you can't quite see me here. I'll lift my camera up a little bit. There we go. So we go hands up high overhead. We're going to come down to touch our toes. Then from here, I want you to try and wrap your fingers just under the front of your feet. Okay, so you can use your big toe or, or wrap your fingers under your feet. And you're going to bring, use that to bring yourself down into like a deep squat. Okay, so we come down into that deep squat. Just making sure I can see you guys here. So you're sitting down with your hands underneath your toes in that deep squat position. Okay, I'm going to keep my left, my left elbow pushing into my left knee. 
and I'm going to turn and look up at my right hand. Then I'm going to come back down, wrap that right hand back under, look up at my left hand, wrap that hand back under, come stand up. So you back into that toe touch and then stand up straight. Three times through. So hands up overhead again, come down to touch your toes, wrap your fingers underneath. Yep, locky. Just make sure you're looking up at that hand. Don't just swing it back. So you should be down in a deep squat. You should be down in a deep squat before you reach that hand up overhead. So you're down in that deep squat. You're pressing that left elbow into that left knee and twist and rotate through your feet. Five times. Good job, Sierra. And you're twisting and looking up at that right hand. Place that. That's better, Lockie. Good job. Good job. Excellent. So a couple of you have got your hands and elbows outside your, your knees. You want to have your elbows inside your yeah. knees. So we come up again. Good job, Hunter. So arms up straight. Come down again just to, just to get really clear on this movement. We wrap our fingers under our toes and we're yeah. sitting in like a, a Spider-Man position. Good job, guys. Not a race. Make sure you get it right. It's not about getting it done first. It's about getting it done right. We're doing quality here. So now we've got our, see how I've got my elbows on the inside of my knees here. I press that left elbow into my left knee and that helps me rotate through my lower back here a little bit. Then I've got my right hand and I'm looking up at my left. Up straight, so touching our toes into that hamstring movement and then stand up straight. All right. That's three of those guys. So we're finished for today's session. Come back to the camera here. Thank you very much for joining me. I know it was a bit of a slower session. That flex session is always going to be a bit of mobility. But if you've got any questions about any recovery techniques, make sure you get plenty of water in. Okay, that mobility and things like that is it, it's really important that you are doing just as much work on foam rolling and mobility and looking after your body, making sure you're getting that active recovery. No worries. See you, Lainey. Uh, making sure you're getting that active recovery. Even for you younger kids that don't get sore and don't feel like you need it, it's a good habit to get them into. And they're good Thank you. To learn. See you guys. See you later. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. I'll see you next meeting. There you guys. Good on you. Thanks, Jared. Bye. No worries. All right. See you, Chase. Good on you, mate. Thanks, Jared. No worries. See you later. See you, Aaron and Liam. Thanks, guys. See you, Alyssa. See, See you, Jared. Aiden. Good boy. See you, Zach. Don't look too entertained, mate. See you later. <laughs> Good on you guys. Thank See you, Aiden. See you. Thanks, mate. See you later.